Crazy song. Well, it was. Yes! Woohoo! Success! Okay, it's time for bed. That took us half an hour. <sighs> See you there! Hi everyone, this is Sophia, and yes, I did get a haircut. We are headed to Ghibli Park today, which I'm so excited about. I've been dreaming about it for so long, ever since I bought the tickets. Ooh, there's a Shinkansen coming. So cool. So basically, to get to Ghibli, we are taking the Shinkansen to Nagoya, and then from Nagoya, we're gonna be taking a local train, which takes about an hour. So it's a good thing we're staying near my fiance's house because it makes it closer for us to get to Ghibli Park. But I'm imagine if you are trying to get to Ghibli Park, you just stay in Nagoya because it's just quicker and easier. But oh, another Shinkansen. Anyways, we'll see you as we get there. With you I never feel alone. These little songs make me glad to call you mine and you have got my head. In the clouds oh. All that I need Is your body next to me On rainy days Just need your company Don't need too much Just your simple love And it's everything The simple joy Of hearing your voice Every morning I wake To a kiss on my face So I don't I lied. I thought it was just one train, but it's actually two. Uh, well, technically it's one train and one light rail, so I guess I didn't lie. Like, technically I didn't lie, but it was Shinkansen, train, light rail. Anyways, so apparently we only got, we can only enter the Grand Warehouse at our allotted time and within the hour, so we gotta go to the Grand Warehouse first. Yeah. Together, we always have fun throughout the day. I'll do anything to get your attention when you say you love me. I seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you because all I need, all I need is you. Make me fly to the clouds One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days Just need your company Don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning I wait to a kiss on my face So I don't need so much Just your simple love and it's everything Can't imagine living life alone If we were to go a separate ways Cause with you I feel alive Who knows how far we go Don't you know that all that I need Is your body next to me on rainy days Just need your company Don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything
Pieces in my room. Yep. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do. I could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm walking out my head through. The goods have been secured, and now we're trying to figure out how to get to. Or he's trying to figure out how to get to Princess Monomoke Village. So we gotta get there by four. Want me to say something? I come up with nothing. Maybe we can talk until we figure out a topic. Been so long in my head, caught up in my feelings. I've been waiting for something new to happen. And when it gonna do this while I was in Japan but I completely ran out of time and I wasn't really in the mood to do it so here we are to be entirely honest I kind of wish I got more part of the reason why I probably didn't was because the store there was so small there were a few things I actually wanted from Studio Ghibli Park I'm gonna talk about those things last because they're very very exciting to me but the very first thing is this blue Totoro keychain. This is one of those things where I did wish I looked more at. I remember seeing a Gigi, 100% regret not buying that one. So every park had a different like merch shop and I will say the merch shops for those like little parks were small but I think they had their own like unique or like limited edition thing and this was one of the things at the Totoro forest park that really caught our eye and it actually caught my fiance's eye where he was like i'm gonna buy that it's really just decor i think but i think you could probably use it as something else it is like i have to lean really back like a tapestry continuing on with what we got at the store itself i got these two enamel pins and then my fiance got this plane. And then at the counter, my fiance asked if I wanted this. I got 
some postcards. I really wanted this um, Princess Kaguya postcard. It's actually metal, which is super cool. I'm not actually going to use that as a postcard, obviously. It's just going to be decor. But I just really love the animation of this movie, so I really wanted something from that movie. And then my fiance chose this one. I saw, again, with the postcards, but here are some postcards. Again, not necessarily to be used as postcards, but I really wanted to do one of those, like, you know, like those three frame, those three picture frames and just kind of do like a little collage with these postcards. I got this tote bag. This is actually a very thick canvas tote. Not only that, it is actually lined. There's even a pocket. I also really, really love this green. Okay, the last two things are the things that I was going there to go get kind of thing. So the first one is this GG humidifier. It is a portable humidifier. It comes with two filters. I think my fiance has the other one. You just pour water in here, put it in, and then I think you have to plug it here with its USB cord to basically have it go on. It comes out of the mug. It's just it's just so cute. If you're like buying this to like replace an actual humidifier, don't do it. This is just definitely more of like a decor slash humidifier. And then the other thing, this is a thing that I badly, badly wanted to buy when I went there. They didn't have it actually. And when we were leaving, we walked by a, like an outpost where they had like a, basically a shop that you could go in and basically like satisfy your, you know, Ghibli needs because you can't actually go to the store I went to to buy all those things unless you have a ticket to purchase. That store, I walked in and they had like actually other stuff too that the, one the store in the warehouse didn't have as i was walking around i spotted this and immediately made a beeline for it because i was like this is what i was looking for out of all the things i, I wanted to buy this was the one that i 100 percent wanted and that is this it's so cute so this is a totoro it's a watering okay, i can undo this now it is a watering pot the watering hole comes out here and it just it's so cute though the moment i saw it i picked it up and i was like it's mine I, uh, i'm not giving this up for anyone it was a hundred percent a pain in the mm, to pack <laughs> because it's small but it's not that small either especially in the grand scheme of suitcase space i am over the moon about this i did see this in I think one other uh, Studio Ghibli store. I think it was in um, Miyajima Island. So I didn't see it anywhere else in Tokyo or anywhere. So if you do see it in Japan, I would just recommend just buying it. So yeah, that is it for my Ghibli Park haul. Let's just get into the outro of this video. It is technically the day after we got back from Ghibli Park. I was so tired, I completely forgot to do an outro. If you hear noises, it's because my fiance is over there shuffling and making sound. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and the haul. As you could tell from the video, the park is very, very expansive. And I, based on the videos I've seen, did not realize how much walking you'd have to do. So 100% be prepared for a lot of walking. We bought tickets to the Grand Warehouse and Princess Monomoke Village because that recently just opened and I was really, really excited for it. So for the Grand Warehouse, I thought it would just be kind of like a quick in and out, like you walk around a bit, you kind of see the um, different buildings from the different movies, but there was surprisingly like a decent amount of things to do. There was no rides, but there was like a little short film showing that would show every like 20 minutes. There was a place for you to get snacks. There was like some interactive exhibits and there was one really big, and I say that in quotations because probably in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty small and it's a very tight space. But the exhibit was really cool because it showed the storyboards from his different movies, the different scenes. I think at one point they had a case full of just the pages of this grandpa eating a banana and it was like 130 something pages, it was crazy. 
130 panels or something. Oh, panels. Okay, sure. And it was honestly really fascinating. And in that exhibit, there was actually a lot of photo ops, which does get really crowded because it is a very, very small space. It's a very tight space. And for some reason, they decided to line up all of the photo ops right next to each other. So that's probably the primary place that you would want to go take photos. But like I said, because it's really small, so packed that exhibit probably made the entire grand warehouse worth it the studio ghibli store is in the grand warehouse which oddly you cannot enter unless you have a ticket again store is very small very crowded sensing a theme here they're all very tightly packed they have a decent amount of stuff there were also some things that you could buy outside of the actual park except for the fact that it's a trek to get there so i don't know if it's fully worth it just to like take all of those trains to get to like that outside store just to buy a few Ghibli Park stuff. The tickets is for the different exhibits. So theoretically you could actually enter the park and walk around. You just can't go into like Princess Monomoke Village. You can't get into Grand Warehouse. Theoretically it's a free park but for you to do any of the stuff you need a ticket. So Princess Monomoke Village, I have the most to say about this. I was extremely disappointed with the village, honestly. We paid tickets to go in right before we went in. I don't know if I like called it, but the attendant shared that they had like some food making class that I think was kind of based on the movie, but they had sold out or they were done for the day. And so when we got in, like sure, there were a few photo ops, like cause there were like some structures, but you walk around once and that's basically it. And it's really, really small. I felt like it was a waste of money and I honestly would not actually recommend. Yeah, even taking photos, 100% less than 10 minutes still. If I had known it was going to be like that, I 100% would have just bought tickets to go to be able to see the Totoro stuff. If you are to go, I would more likely recommend the Grand Warehouse and the Totoro Forest. We started seeing the finished product of the Valley of the Witches, which is coming soon. I don't know when it's coming, but that one looks actually really, really promising. I will say that overall, the day was honestly really, really nice. We ended up spending maybe like three hours, roughly, maybe more like two and a half at the Grand Warehouse. And then, like I said, 10 minutes at Princess Monomoke Village. And then by the time we got to the forest, we were so tired. We were like, we don't want to do anything. So then we left. Like I wasn't expecting to do hikes. Definitely expect to hike around. Yeah. Okay, I'll start, you know. No, 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 it's okay. You're definitely going to be walking. So bring walking shoes. Unless, like I said, you only want to do the Grand Warehouse. In that case, I guess you don't have to wear walking shoes. I think the Grand ha Warehouse 100% made it worth it. We managed to get there right as it stopped raining, which was so nice. Uh, yeah, so it is now March 9th and I filmed that outro back in November and I don't know what happened to the rest of that outro. So here it is. I think for me, the only thing that I pr remember saying that I think would be important to share here is that I think for this park, if you are a visitor and you don't plan on going to Japan very often, I think it's worth going at least once. For me, I have plans to go to Japan every two to three years just because my fiance has family there. So for me, I probably won't be going back to the park anytime soon until they finish constructing it. I think at that point, it would be worth doing a whole day trip out there just to be able to see the different parks, the different areas for the different movies. I think that's the only time that I would ever go back to Ghibli Park, but that's just for me personally. Honestly, I still had a great time and editing this video has really reminded me how much fun I had kind of seeing everything and storyboarding and everything. So. Honestly, it was a good time. I just don't think that I, I think I had hyped it up in my mind a little bit too much. And so it was a little disappointing because of that. But again, I think if you have realistic expectations of what you're expecting there, then you will have more than a good time. So hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions that I can answer for you, let me know in the comments, but hopefully I'll see you next time for another one. Bye. <laughs> Feeling like a child